Welcome back now to Primetime Sports Friday. Now, the Jamaica Olympic Association has sought to clear the air following a TVJ sports report on Thursday, which highlighted a 300% jump in salaries and wages reflected in the Umbrella Organization's audited financial statements for the year ending December 31, 2018. In an emailed statement sent to TVJ Sports Friday afternoon, the JOA president, Christopher Samuda, addressed the reasons for the increased cost in administrative expenses from $32 to $60 million, salaries moving from $9.7 to $34.7 million, their decrease in current assets from $178 to $147.8 million for the period 2017 and 2018, among other things. The JOA indicated that salaries increased as a result of a decision taken by the board to restructure and professionalize their office in keeping with their vision articulated to members in 2017. The JOA president said the increase in admin expenses came as a result of the establishment of a corporate organizational structure. The JOA said in expanding the services to members it identified four critical areas business development, member relations, IT services and marketing and corporate communications. It claimed that 67% of the increase in admin expenses over 2017 was as a result of the increase in salaries which was as a function of the decision of the board and mandate it received from member associations to restructure and professionalize the association. The local Olympic Association added that 10% of the increase in admin expenses was as a result of a decision taken by the new administration to rectify the reconciliations and finalize outstanding financial reports from 2013 to 2016 for submissions to their main stakeholder, the International Olympic Committee. The JOA added that that saw a reduction in its receivables from 85 million in 2017 to Jamaican 20 million in 2018. The Umbrella Organization for Sports in Jamaica added that the 2018 audited financials reported by TVJ Sports on Thursday were presented and tabled in a question and answer session and thereafter unanimously approved by member associations at the relevant extraordinary general meeting of the JOA. The JOA said its reason to decrease the athlete's per diem from US $30 to US $25 related to the board's decision to invest significantly in the athletes and coaches of the various associations and the athletes be to qualify for and attend the respective games as well as the development of these sporting associations. It said that investment amounted to Jamaican $192 million. Addressing the decrease in the association's current assets over the 2017-2018 period, the JOA said that that came as a result of a reduction in the amounts owing from the prior year, which was consistent with the JOA's objective of reducing its receivables. That, it said, resulted in a commensurate increase in its cash position, which the JOA in turn invested in its member associations, allowing it to fully fund the largest contingent ever to the Central American and Caribbean Games and fund the largest contingent ever to the Commonwealth Games. The JOA said it was still able to provide an unprecedented additional Jamaican $82.5 million in support to 24 member associations. Responding to the J3As indicating that it will not be settling an approximately $2 million debt from a travel agency over tickets to the Pan American Games in 2019, the JOA said its Games Commission instituted a board-approved travel grant policy of which all federations prior to the Games were made aware in several meetings and communications to which they agreed. As such, the JOA is maintaining that the matter is between the travel agency and the J3As, which the terms of the letter of demand confirm. The JOA said it remains steadfast in its policy to invest in member associations without apology, which in 2018 totaled 200 million Jamaican dollars. Kayon Reina reporting for Radio Jamaica Sports. Now, almost four years since Jamaica's track and field athletes secured 11 medals, including six gold at the Rio Olympics, the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, J3As, is yet to benefit from any of the dividends sent to the Jamaica Olympic Association, JOA. Sources with knowledge of the situation have revealed that the IOC turned over a sum in the region of 300,000 US dollars, which was directly tied to the nation's medal haul from the 2016 Games in Rio. 
When contacted by TVJ Sports, Dr. Warren Blake, the president of the J3As, confirmed not receiving any of those funds from the JOA. The J3 hasn't really benefited directly from any of the Olympic dividend. And, and, and what usually occurs in previous years? Well it's, well, it's hard to say in previous years, but we, we, we would get some financial assistance from the JOA from time to time in previous years. But it was never specifically said that this is a part of the Olympic dividend. No, the TVJ Sports was unable to reach JOA President Christopher Zamuda by phone for comment. Jamaica ended the Rio Olympics with six gold, three silver and two bronze medals.